Okay, in this video, I want to address a question that came up on my YouTube channel last week, and that is, why did I become a solicitor rather than a barrister? It's a good question, and it's a good question, obviously, for anybody who has an interest in getting into the law game, into the legal industry. For me, it's very, very straightforward. When the property market crashed in around about 2007 or 2008, it was only at that point that I turned my mind to going back to college and going back to studying and perhaps giving it a go to become a solicitor because up to that point I had been a self-employed business man since 1986 and I had my own business in retailing, in construction, in property investment, in all sorts of activities. But the property market crashed and that took care of a lot of stuff for me. It created great difficulties. It also presented an opportunity. The opportunity for me was to do something which I had always fancied doing but never really had the time. Now I had the time because, well, quite frankly, I had nothing else left. So, I qualified as a solicitor, I think, in 2011. And I set up in practice in 2011. In other words, within a few months of qualifying, I set up again as a self-employed person. So. I have been self-employed practically for well over, I don't know, since 1986, so you can work it out. But in terms of becoming a solicitor or a barrister, it was very, very straightforward for me, very, very simple decision. A barrister must get instructions from solicitors. I'll say that again. A barrister must be instructed by a solicitor, or at least that was the case then, 10 years ago, and has been in the profession for many many years it may be changing a little bit now in the last number of years with a few developments there opening up to profession and so on it may well be the case that there still must be instructed by a solicitor but the bottom line is when i was starting a barrister had to be instructed by a solicitor so if i became a barrister who was going to instruct me i had no contacts remember i'd been self-employed for 20 years or 25 years at this stage I didn't go to uh, an expensive private school, I didn't play rugby, I didn't have any contacts cultivated or built up down through the years in the legal profession. In fact, I knew nobody in the legal profession apart from my own solicitor, my own solicitor who had been acting for me since 1986 and who promised me an apprenticeship if I ever got into the Law Society. And luckily enough, I worked hard and I was able to pass the exams for the Law Society very quickly and go back to my solicitor and say, Mary, do you remember you promised me? She says, yeah. I said, uh, well, I've got an apprenticeship or I've got a place in the Law Society. Will you give me an apprenticeship? And she did. And I will be forever and eternally grateful to her for that. But being a solicitor versus being a barrister, if I'm a solicitor, I can hustle and I can solicit clients from the general public. I can do wills, I can do conveyancing, I can do litigation, I can do employment, I can act for employees, I can act for employers. So all of that was open to me by becoming a solicitor. By becoming a barrister, none of that was open to me. All I could hope for was that I would get the attention of some solicitor who was stuck someday and might just pick me. That's not a great way to start a business, particularly when you're more more mature and later in life and you really don't have all that much time to be messing around cultivating clients and cultivating contacts and so on and so forth so the ability to be able to generate clients get clients from the general public was absolutely critical for me and that's why for me the very um, simple decision was it was always going to be a solicitor because, as I say, from the day that I qualified in 2011, within a month or two, I was set up on my own as a sole practitioner. That was not possible. Um, it wasn't feasible as a barrister because, obviously, I could set up all right, but I wouldn't get clients. I wouldn't get enough of them. The likes of this video and the likes of social media marketing and so on has opened up a massive vista for the likes of me as well because... If you are that way inclined and you have a little bit of street smarts when it comes to marketing, then you can use YouTube, as I'm doing now, to build profile, to generate leads, and to generate clients, and to build a business. That's essentially what I've done. So for me, it was simple. I could cast my net 
very, very wide. I could throw plenty of crumbs on the water through YouTube and through blogging and through Facebook and through various other social media platforms. And I could generate and canvas and get leads, get clients from the general public. As the barrister couldn't do that, I'd be relying on some solicitor to pick me. And as I say, when you are relying on somebody to pick you, then it's not the state of affairs that I find very agreeable. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful and I hope it clarifies for you if you're thinking about a career in the law game, in the legal industry, if you're going to minister to the greatness of the law, well then that's the choice you have to make. You've got to choose between being a barrister or being a solicitor. As I say, I hope you find it useful and if you do, I would appreciate if you give it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.